Hi, welcome everybody. I'm Mike with Herco, and today I want to talk about transform plane. In five axis, or five-sided machining, where we're doing multiple sides of the same part, not really simultaneous movement, uh, transform plane is really the magic that makes that possible, especially when we talk about Herco's conversational programming. But what we're going to talk about and the way that we talk about it and how it's programmed or the, the rules and the, the steps are the same whether you're talking in G-code or in conversational. So you almost you also may hear this called a few different things by different cam companies, uh, might be dynamic dynamic work offsets or things like that, but it, it all is the same thing. We're going to um, be programming multiple sides of the same part, simple geometries on those parts, or on those sides of the part usually. All right, so a transform plane is basically a work plane that we create where the tool will be perpendicular to that plane that is somewhere on the part other than the top side of the part. So when we're gonna do that, what we wanna do is we wanna position the part so it is in the correct orientation, so the tool is gonna be perpendicular, and then we're gonna go ahead and program whatever three axis type geometry would normally do with the part tilted like that. And then we're going to cancel that and revert back to the top of the part. Again, this is something we can do in conversational or in G-code. I see on the slide here, we have a, an example of the block for conversational programming at the bottom, the transform plane block. And in the red box, you can see what the G-code line looks like. And those numbers will be, the numbers and the information that's in there will be the same whether we do it in conversational or in NC. So why do we wanna do this? Well, basically to program on the right side of the part, Programming features while we're referencing something else on somewhere else on the part other than a location on that right side doesn't make any sense. So we want to do three things. Number one, we want to move the origin point temporarily. So we want to move it to a location on that side of the part that makes sense based on our print. Then we want to rotate the work plane so the tool's perpendicular to this new work plane. And then we're going to go ahead and program our features. When we're done, then we'll cancel that and everything will revert back to the original part zero. So we do that in either a G code line, starting out with the G68.2, which is our transform plane, or a transform plane block in conversational. So you can see here, to move the origin point, we have a little red box around both of them. And we're basically gonna put in dimensions of exactly how far it is from the original zero to the new zero. In this example, we're going to go from location one to location two. It, this is a six by six by six cube. So we're going to move positive three inches in the X from the original location. We're going to move negative three inches in the Y. So we're going to move from the center of that right side out to the front. And then we're going to drop down a full negative six inches in the Z. So what we've done is we've taken that coordinate and we've moved it from where it was in three steps down to the new location. Now we want to rotate the work plane. So we're going to use either A, B, and C in our G-code program, or we're going to do it with rotation angle fields here in the conversational block. So we, we want to rotate around the Y-axis 90 degrees. So we simply just put a positive 90 in the rotation about Y or as B-axis if we were on a G-code program. Once we've done that, the tool is now perpendicular to that right side of the part, and we would just go ahead and either conversationally or in G-code program whatever features we want on that side of the part. Everything will reference that new origin point with the tool tilted where it's supposed to be. And then when we're done, we're going to cancel that with either a transform plane end block conversationally or a G69 in NC, and that will revert us back to the original zero point. And then we would just continue to do that over and over and over again for the multiple sides of the part until we got that part completed. So hopefully this helps explain transform plane a little bit. You can see where the, the power of that would be for five-sided programming. And uh, until next time.